Welcome back to the iMovie 09 series. In this video, I am going to be showing you advanced features, tips and tricks that can make you stand out above the rest of the crowd or just make your job a little bit easier. One of the first things I wanted to show you is down in here, when we look at our little boxes of icons and stuff, the icons could be smaller or bigger if you want. And here's the button that you do it with. It's actually a little button you slide on this little slider bar. Watch what happens to the icons here and down here when I do that. They shrink. It's like I put them in the dryer. <laughs> or you can make them grow. Woo! They're growing up. Our little icons are growing up. There you go. So you got the big icons now. A little way to customize it. One of the little tricks and tips that you can do. One other thing that's a little bit helpful is to go to the file menu and print event. So you select an event that you want, like my space event, and you can do file, print event, and what it can do is, let's do a, uh, a preview, and basically what it's going to do is create a PDF file of little thumbnails of all of my images that were up here in this event. So at a glance, I can have a printout to show people, here's the clips that we have for this event. Here's some thumbnails for those clips. And that might be a way for you to keep things organized, particularly if you want to then burn these onto a disk. You can print out a, a sheet and then put that in with the CD or, or DVD sleeve. So that might be a little bit helpful. A little hidden feature that might come in handy. The other thing I want to show you is this little button right down here that you might miss, the one with a, a red arrow. I mean, it's, it's a red box with a white arrow. And this is what they call a chapter marker. Now, you may have noticed in some of the videos that I've had, let me show you this again for chapter markers. Uh, go into my movies folder and like this one right here. And I'm just going to open this up in QuickTime and shrink this down a bit. And right here is the chapter markers. And it looks a little bit different on the older versions of QuickTime. But you click on that and you can see the chapter markers. So people can easily get to a portion of a video that they want to get to. So they just click on that and then boom, now and I'm at this point of the video. Was we have the so that's a neat little trick. You can add chapter markers to yours and that also is handy when you actually go to export for a DVD. Because the chapter markers in a DVD, you can create your own. So basically you just click on it, drag it down to wherever you want. Let's say I want it right here, uh, right at the beginning of the Google video. Then I just click down there and let go and it creates a chapter marker for me. And then I can type in whatever I want and I can say, flying out. And that's what I want to call it. You can call it whatever you want. If I change my mind, I want to move it to a little bit earlier, you can do that. You can slide it to the right, just like you can move anything else that we've got, the videos, audio, you can rearrange things. Uh, very easy to do. This will be a powerful tool for you when you go to export your videos uh, to DVD, as well as for the web, if, particularly if they're longer videos so people can easily get to the segments they want. For instance, if you're a teacher and you recorded your whole lecture, you could add chapter markers for certain segments of your lecture that people may need to do more review on. So that might be helpful for you. Hope so. Next video, I'm going to show you how to export to a DVD or for the web. All right? Thanks for watching.